say when you were in high school? Well, I remember the first time he called me was my junior year, or the very beginning of my junior year. And, uh, you know, I didn't know how interested they were or anything like that. I'd gotten a couple of letters, but that doesn't mean, at, you know, at our stage and our level, it doesn't mean anything. But the first time he called me, I, like, freaked out because I always wanted to go to North Carolina. And I was hoping that's what it would lead to. Um, it was the beginning of my junior year, and, you know, I talked to him for, like, five or six minutes and then talked to my parents for, like, two hours about how cool it was. But, uh, you know, after that, we had developed a really good relationship. And, uh, you know, it's just something, you know, there's four or five things you remember from the recruiting process, or at least I do, that are just, like, pivotal moments. And, you know, that was definitely one of them. Do you remember what you all talked about during those five minutes? Uh, he just talked about how he needed a point guard in the class, in the 2012 high school class, and that, you know, JP had, he had talked to JP because he was already recruiting him, and JP had suggested my name to him, and that's how he, you know, heard about me. So he just said he would be following me and, and tracking my, my improvement, my progress from then on. So, uh, yeah, I remember most of that conversation. For you, was it pretty much a given, like, if, if they wanted you, you were coming kind of thing? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a given, but I mean, it was going to put them in the front uh, of the race no matter what, just because um, once I got a feel for how Coach Williams was, um, you know, making sure he's a good guy and all that stuff, uh, it was hard for them to get knocked off that top spot, um, just because I'd always dreamed of coming here. Yeah, how close were you to, didn't you consider Kansas, you were close to coming to Kansas, did I hear that before? Yeah, I was, I mean, at the end of my sophomore year, I was very close. You know, I went to late night in the fog my sophomore year and, you know, talked to Coach Self a whole bunch of different times. And I really, I was very close to committing, but my coaches and my parents just told me to be patient and, and just get a feel for things more. And then, you know, obviously things changed in the year following that. How often do you kind of reflect back on just how fortunes change? Like, you, you could have ended up in Lawrence instead of Chapel Hill. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you think about it. You know, I also I could have ended up, you know, back home in Iowa. I could have ended up in Kansas. I could have, I did end up here. But, you know, you think about those things a lot. But, you know, you can't wish any, they were any different because you made the choice. And I'm glad I made this choice. It's changed my life for the better in, in so many ways. I can't even begin to describe it. So. Uh, I can't imagine any place being better for me than, than North Carolina. Have you spoken with Mike or any uh, of the other guys you know from Iowa this week? Yeah, I talked to Mike like three or four different times this week. Uh, we were talking earlier today, honestly. <laughs> um, you know, not anything basketball related, just, you know, catching up. Um, and, you know, I watched them a couple of games earlier this year. And, uh, you know, they were watching a little bit of what we did in the Bahamas. So. Um, I talk to him, you know, almost every single week, so uh, I keep up in, with him the most out of anybody. How tired are you with the rest? I mean, he, he said you, uh, when you flew home one time, you, like, literally went straight to their game. Yeah, I, mean, I heard there was a, they had a game that night that I was flying home, so I tried to rush back from the airport with my dad to go see them play um, because, you know, I played with Adam and Mike and, you know, played against Josh Oglesby and Jared Utah for a whole bunch of years growing up, so that's... And that's a lot of their roster that I know and I'm familiar with. So I just wanted to go down there, um, say hi to everybody, and just catch up because our families are good friends too.